I've completed all the level 23 quests and uh, some of the 24 and 25s as well. And more importantly, I've capped out my Fury of the Wild Destiny. Uh, I want to spend a little bit of time for people that are new to Destinies kind of going over what I selected from this Destiny. In Tier 1, I took Primal Avatar. That gives me a, f a plus 5 morale bonus, which stacks with uh, gear. 2 strength and constitution for 3 minutes. 5 uses per rest, so basically for 15 minutes I can have the uh, plus 5 to both of those bonus. That gives me more hit points and helps with my damage. The 30 Sonic, uh, it's, yeah, it's once in a while it comes in handy. It's not really that significant. Boulder's Might. This is something that, that uh, works well with Adrenaline. It worked not, better now that I have Adrenaline Overload. Uh, it basically gives uh, sort of a big melee attack with extra damage, and so it's good on bosses with Adrenaline. Uh, if, if, if anything I picked, I'm going to switch. It would probably be this, but right now I have to pick it something in this lower tier, and I think this is the best option for me. Acute Instincts people mainly take because it's uh, required for Sense Weakness, but for this build, it's really good. Plus two Wisdom gives me a plus one spot. That's about all it gives me, but still, plus one spot. And then on top of that, I get plus six spot and search plus six heal also helps with my self healing a little bit so all good and then malicious weapons gives me 20 percent strike through uh th up to here i feel pretty comfortable with these choices once i get to this fourth tier it gets a little a little more difficult because there's a lot of things i want to take in this fourth tier but unfortunately i'm sort of boxed in because uh, the fifth and sixth tier i want to max out my points there so i only have four points to spend uh, well, five because I only take three in the top tier, but four points to spend initially. So, uh, Gert Against Demons, originally I thought I would be taking this for the Cold Iron, but, and then Strike Through, always good. Sense Weakness, which gives extra damage to Helpless, and some other uh, damage bonuses when enemies get below th certain thresholds. And then a Knockdown Effect with Adrenaline. And so, after weighing all the pros and cons, I may sometimes uh, switch to this. You know, pay the money to reset the tree and switch to this for a specific quest where cold is required. But it's not required in very many quests, so I'm going to probably situationally switch to this. But for my main uh, Fear the Wild Destiny, I'm going to run with three sense weakness. Uh, and that's because I have a few things that generate helplessness. I have my uh, Censure Outsiders. And that is going to be improved by something we'll go over in the, the top tier. But also I plan on taking Dire Charge at 29. So I'll have a way to make enemies helpless pretty, you know, pretty consistently. And then Overwhelming Force. Uh, whenever I do an Adrenaline, I could knock them down. And I have two tiers of this. The first tier is two seconds. The second tier is six seconds. The third tier is ten seconds. I think two tiers is probably fine. If I switch anything, I might switch a point between these two uh, and go with the 10 second. It, I'll just have to see how it is at level 30. And then Strong Swings, that gives me 25 melee power uh, in two-handed fighting mode. Kind of a no-brainer with it since it's only one point. Fury Eternal, again, only one point. It gives me uh, extra adrenaline, but more importantly, when I get a Vorpal, I have a chance to regain adrenaline. Uh, and then in the top tier, I get this thing that gives me a Vorpal on 19 to 20, so that doubles my chances. And then two points of Devastating Blow, plus one crit damage and multipliers, or uh, crit damage multiplier on rolls 19 to 20. Uh, always a good thing. In the top tier, I have one point spent on Bloodbath. That, that increases my Vorpal. So not only does that help with my Adrenaline, it helps with my Censure Outsiders. Uh, Censure Outsiders uh, is basically, the, this extends the ability, Censure Demons to Chaotic and Evil Outsiders, and Censure Demons on a Vorpal, it stuns outside, uh, Chaotic outside, Evil Outsiders. So basically on a 19 or 20, I'm going to be stunning Reapers, I'm going to be stunning anything that's either a Chaotic or an Evil Outsider. And uh, the Reapers are Lawful Evil, so they would qualify. And then Unbridled Fury for two points. Uh, 
for 30 seconds. Every three seconds, I get adrenaline overload. My next attack deals 400% damage and has a plus 16 crit range, which means I'm always critting uh, and confirmation. And, uh, it, you know, the, the second thing, it adds 100% strike through and gives me feats. Of course, I already have these feats, so the bottom part uh, with the feats is not a big deal. Uh, but this is this is going to be, you know, I think be a really good, uh, a really good uh, destiny for me. And so uh, I went into the Slave Lord chain as sort of a trial balloon, just the first part. And I wasn't able to find the traps. The enemies hit pretty hard. I was, it was pretty marginal there. So I feel like I'm not ready to run that chain on Epic Elite. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to run it on Epic Hard or wait until 30 and run it on Epic Elite in a, in a good destiny. I haven't kind of figured that out yet, but um, uh, one of those two mm, to get my to get my gear. Currently, I'm in Grandmaster, or I'm in uh, Shadow Dancer, and so I'm leveling up this. It's not a great destiny for me, although this Melt to, into Darkness is one of the best abilities in in all of Epic Destiny. It's a very common twist especially for martial builds. Uh, it gives me a... Uh, right now, I only have two ranks of it. When I have the third rank, shortly, it gives you a 15-second 100% dodge, which effectively means martial attacks won't hit you for 15 seconds. So that's really key. It's sort of a get-out-of-jail-free when you're taking big physical damage. Uh, I'll, and I'm going to work my way up this tree. So if I look at my overall uh, you know, tree... So I started started Unyielding Sentinel, moved over to Grandmaster of Flowers. Uh, I capped Legendary Dreadnought. I moved over here and I've capped Fear of the Wild. I took one rank here to give me my uh, my my uh, Rejuvenation Cocoon. So I have enough for three Tier 1 Twists. And at level 30, I'll have enough for four Tier 1 Twists. Uh, possibly one tier two twist, but I believe four tier one tw twists for sure. And so what I'm, I probably will take, I will take rejuvenation cocoon for sure. I'm also leaning towards taking this, this technician, which is something I probably wouldn't normally take, but it gives me plus six to my search spot, disable and open lock, uh, plus six to attacks while flanking. And it's very important that I might, my trapping skills work good in Reaper at level 30. Uh, and so I'll probably, between being in Fury of the Wild, which gives me plus six search and spot, and then Twisting Technician, I'll have plus 12 to my search and spot, plus six to my disable and open lock. And I hope that'll be enough to, uh, to be effective at 30. It should, since I maxed out my ranks of all three, all, uh, search spot and disable, uh, open lock might be marginal, but that one's not really necessary. Uh, and then the other two twists are up in the air. Divine Energy is a possibility. Although I'll have more spell points at 30 and uh, I, I have Energy Resist. So there's only a five difference between Divine Energy and Energy Resist. The main uh, benefit of this is that it's quickened and I can give it to my hirelings for the same spell cost as, you know, I cast five on myself. Brace for Impact is good. Uh, there's a few other ones that are also good, such as the Grandmaster of Flowers weapon. Uh, so it's going to be a tough choice. Uh, the two I know for sure, Rejuvenation, Cocoon, and Technician, and I'll have to see about the others. So my plan for 29 is to cap these destinies, which will give me nearly 6 million experience in this tree. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a longer level, but I'm ho hoping to shorten that up a little bit by running... The Wayloon and Stormhorn sagas, or, or Wayloon and Storm, Stormhorn quests, which will complete three sagas for me. I have two of the five Evening Star sagas complete. The two, the other three will be significantly more XP, and I, I'm thinking that that might be enough or close to enough for me to uh, cap these three destinies. Uh, and because SSG was kind enough to give us a coupon for a 50% Sovereign Elix Elixir pot, pretty much everybody in the game, because of some data center issues that we experienced. Uh, I could double dip on that, and what I mean by that is that uh, I could basically take it, 
take all my sagas and then start running my level 30s for reaper because i want to use that xp pot for reaper xp i want all six hours of it to go for reaper xp but um but since taking uh using it for sagas doesn't cost any time uh, if what I'm going to do is just do the math and see, you know, make sure that I could basically cap these destinies with my sagas and then I will, uh, uh, I will do that with the, uh, take my XP elixir, take any sagas that don't have skill tomes I need. And then hopefully that'll give me, uh, enough to cap. If not, I'll probably run a few quick high XP quests. Uh, might take another run at the Jack Jibber's blade. Uh, a few other quests and then uh and then take the xp elixir and then take my sagas currently i have 529,000 saga xp banked and i have three more sagas coming up so it'll probably be close to 900,000 or so because one of them is one of the three that i'll be getting is really really big uh, it's for every evening star quest and so uh, with my XP elixir, currently the 529 would be 864 with my 50% XP elixir and the 5% voice of the master and my 5% chip ups. So I'd be able to get all the way up to 846,000 XP from that. So I will show that when I get to, uh, when I'm ready to take level 30, how that works. Um, but for now I'll be running the Wayloons and Stormhorn quests at uh, 28 see where I'm at and then uh, look at taking them and then uh, I may also run before I do that I may also run uh, the slave 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 quest sl slave lord quest because I want to get some gear and the gear I have is definitely uh, not good enough for level 30 so I have to kind of juggle those things and see where I'm at um, but it should be I should be to 30 in a few days uh, I suspect and ready to run reapers all right, so I'm going to go ahead and take 30 now, or t take 28 now, rather. Um, kind of indifferent. Um, I have, uh, I could go to, I could go either strength or charisma, or, you know, strength, con or charisma. It's sort of a toss up. Um, Charisma is an odd number, but I'm not sure where I'll be at with gear. So uh, strength is probably the least compelling uh, of them, but I'm going to go ahead and put it to strength, I think. Um, uh, just because I think, uh, you know, I'll have 35 charisma and strength, and it's usually easy to get to get a odd, you know, one more, one more stat if I need it. So I think I'll, I'll do this. And this will hopefully be impactful. I want my damage to be as high as possible. Uh, for skills, I have a bunch of skills that opened up now because I have my primal. I'm going to take perfect two-handed fighting. This is the reason why I I capped out through the wild before I took 28. Um, I, I get that, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have access to this at 28, and probably would never be able to take it. So I'm going to take perfect two-handed fighting. And again, the, the requirement on that is one primal destiny, which I capped as I capped with Fury of the Wild. And so, from an XP perspective, uh, I'm pretty close to 30. Um, I'm about a little over a million away. Uh, but you know that doesn't tell the whole story because I'm going to need to get uh, nearly almost 3 million in this destiny so um, it's going to be a little bit longer than you know be a little longer than it would otherwise be but uh, it won't be too long I think in a day or two I'll be to 30 with the gear that I need so uh, in terms of materials I'm really doing good on materials just from running all the epic quests once I have the equivalent of 32 tokens. I have 30 tokens of the 12 and 266 fragments. And I have uh, 1700 accommodations of valor. And I'm really not too worried about the accommodations of valor because I'm going to run all the level 30 quests. I'll be running over 20 level 30 quests, and those alone will get me enough for my epic TR. 
and so I have enough I'll have enough materials easily for my epic TR and my heroic TR uh, and so at this point the only thing I'm worried about is capping out my destiny so I can take dire charge at 29 I'm going to take 29 and 30 at the same time so once I cap out these two additional martial destinies or once I'm able to by taking saga XP I will uh, take 29 and 30 and start running on working on my uh, reapers so that is that is it I'm level 28 and really looking forward to getting to 30 and running the reaper quest and showing you how that works